Hello. Welcome to Millstuff channel. Today we gonna talk about the Boeing the M88 recovery vehicle is one of the largest armored recovery vehicles, ARV, in use by United States Armed Forces. There are three variants, the M88, M88A1 and M88A2 Hercules, Heavy Equipment Recovery Combat Utility Lifting Extraction System. The M88 series has seen action in the Vietnam War, the Persian Gulf War, the Iraq War, and the war in Afghanistan, and to a lesser extent during the Kosovo War, where they were deployed to help recover heavy armored vehicles of the Allied ground units. As of 2000, the M88A2 replacement cost was around US$2,050,000. The design of this vehicle was based on the chassis and parts of the automotive component of the M48 Patton and M60 tanks. The original M88 was introduced in 1961, M88A1 in 1977, with the current M88A2 introduced in 1997. Originally manufactured by Bowen McLaughlin York, later the BMY division of Harsco Corporation, in 1961, the company would later merge with FMC Corp. to form the United Defense Industries in 1994, which was in turn acquired by Bay Systems in 2005 to become Bay Systems Land and Armaments. In February 2008, the company was awarded a $185 million contract modification from the U.S. Army to manufacture 90 Army-configured M88A2s, four United States Marine Corps-configured M88A2s and authorized spares list parts. The M88's primary role is to repair or replace damaged parts in fighting vehicles while under fire as well as extricate vehicles that have become bogged down or entangled. The main winch on the M88A2 is capable of a 70-ton, single-line recovery, and a 140-ton 2-to-1 recovery when used with the 140-ton pulley. The A-frame boom of the A2 can lift 35 tons when used in conjunction with the spade down. The spade can be used for light earth moving, and can be used to anchor the vehicle when using the main winch. The M88 employs an auxiliary power unit, APU, to provide auxiliary electrical and hydraulic power when the main engine is not in operation. It can also be used to slave start other vehicles, provide power for the hydraulic impact wrench, as well as the means to refuel or defuel vehicles as required. The M88 series of vehicles can refuel M1 tanks from its own fuel tanks, but this is a last resort due to the possibility of clogging the AGT 1500's fuel filters. The fuel pump draws fuel from the bottom of the fuel cell, and with it, all of the sediment that has accumulated with time. The original M88 produced from 1960 to 1964 used the Continental AVSI 1790-6A diesel engine rated at 980 HP at 2800 revolutions per minute, as well as a 10 HP gasoline auxiliary power unit. The M88A1 was powered by the Continental AVDS 17902DR diesel engine and had a 10 HP diesel auxiliary power unit. While the original M88 and M88A1 are designated as a medium recovery vehicle, the M88A2, original designation being M88A1E1, is designated as heavy recovery vehicle. They are all similar in many fundamental ways however, the later version is distinctly heavier, 70 tons, compared to the original 56 tons, and uses a different engine. AVDS 1790-8CR with 1050 horsepower, compared to a Continental AVDS 1790-2 drive, with 750 horsepower. The M88A2 is slightly larger than its predecessors, 8.6 times 3.7 times 3.2 meters compared to 8.3 times 3.4 times 3.2 meters, thus retains a lower top speed, 40 km per hour and a significantly lower road range, 322 km compared to 450 km. There have also been improvements in braking and steering. Additionally, 
The M88A2 has upgraded armor protection including armored track skirts and applique armor panels, which both previous models lack. The M88 is also lacking in nuclear, biological, chemical, NBC, defenses and a smokescreen generator, which the later M88A1 and M88A2 models are equipped with. Furthermore, the crew number has decreased from 5, to 3 to 4, to 3 through the series. The M88A3 configuration features an upgraded powertrain, suspension and tracks, increasing the vehicle's speed, survivability and reliability. The M88A3 also features a seventh road wheel to reduce ground pressure and new hydropneumatic suspension units that enable the track to be locked out for greater control when recovering vehicles, Bay said in a release. The contract is being awarded under an other transactional authority, OTA acquisition model for upgrading the M88A2 heavy equipment recovery combat utility lift evacuation system. Hercules, to the next generation M88A3 Hercules. Bay Systems M88 family of recovery vehicles has provided the Army with unprecedented capability for recovering stranded or disabled combat vehicles since the 1960s. Due to incremental weight increases of the Army's main battle tank over the years, the M88A3's predecessor, the M88A2, is currently unable to safely perform single vehicle recovery of the Abrams. Bay Systems has invested independent research and development to develop the M88A3 for three years in an effort to identify, understand, and provide solutions to return to single vehicle recovery of the tank. All variants have a 12.7mm M2 Browning .50 caliber machine gun, 432mm ground clearance, 2.6 meters fording depth, 1.1 meters wall climb and 2.6 meters trench crossing capabilities. There has been no major deviation in battlefield roll through the M88 series, the later models are merely able to lift heavier loads. The M88A1 was designed around the now obsolete M60 Patton tanks, so it was in light of the fact that two M88A1s were required to tow the new M1 Abrams tank that the decision was made to upgrade to the M88A2 in 1991. On February 20, 2017, it was announced that the Army had contracted Bay Systems Land and Armaments a $28 million contract modification for the procurement of 11 M88A2 recovery vehicles. One of the main issues afflicting the M88A2 is a high rate of winch failures. The leading cause of these failures is operation of the winch without tension on the cable. This leads to bird nesting, loose wrapping and bunching up of the cable. There is also concern with loss of tractive force when an M88A2 tows a heavy M1 Abrams on a slope in wet, muddy conditions. The M88A2 was extensively tested at the Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, and on August 10, 1998, was officially approved for the towing of 70-ton combat vehicles such as the M1 Abrams.